everybody, it's Tiffany, and I just wanted to give you a quick little video about how to assemble your new paper cart, the paper cart 2.0 or paper cart 2020. So these are all the parts that you got when you open your box. You're going to have two of these, and these are, of course, the side rails for the cart. You're going to have four of the caster wheels. Two of them have a locking mechanisms on them, and two of them do not. So you just want to put the locking mechanisms both on the front or both on the back depending on how you're going to use your cart but just be aware that they are different you should have four of the crossbars eight screws two fast and funky tools so these are for people who don't have regular tools handy but they're not the easiest thing to use so if you have your own screwdriver or your own what I'm going to use drill, um, it's a little bit easier to work with those things. So assembling the cart is really easy. Basically there are just eight screws. You have the two panels here. You can see that one of them is significantly larger than the other. The larger one is the bottom panel. I'm trying not to bang things around too much. And then the larger part of the larger one, that is the bottom, and the shorter part is the back of the bottom right so the two bottom sections are the same size and then the top sections are the smaller sections on both panels so I'm gonna just start with the bottom and I'm just gonna set it down in the position that it would be in and I'm gonna grab one of my side rails and they're both exactly the same and I'm just gonna put the screw through the side rail so it pops out on the other side. If I put on my glasses, it'll be a little bit easier. But So one of the things about working with anything that's painted, wood or metal, that also has holes already drilled into it, is that if you pre-screw things into the holes before you try to assemble your product, whatever it is, if there is any paint that got in there in the process of manufacturing, by putting the screws in first and then taking them out, you're going to clean that out and it's going to be a lot easier to assemble at this point. So I've already done that with this one. And then I'm just going to line that up. And really the first one is the most difficult one. I'm just going to finger tighten it. Okay. Then I'm going to put the bottom one in. Same thing. Put it through the hole. Maybe. You probably don't have to work at a weird angle so you can see yourself on the camera. I'm going to take my screwdriver this time and just tighten that up a little bit, but not really tight. So that's another um, trick to assembling anything like this, any sort of cart or anything that has a structure. When you first put it together, you want to put all the screws in very loosely, right? You don't want to tighten them down right away because you need to have them in there loose so that when, you, um, when it's all done, you can square it up on the floor, or in my case, the table, and then tighten up all the screws, right? So if you tighten up the screws uh, first, you risk kind of having something that's a little bit wonky. Um, so put your screws in, leave them kind of loose, and then tighten everything up when you're done. So I'm just going to take a second and put the, put the screws in this side and put the top one in, and then we'll do the wheels. Okay, so I've got the frame together and I've got the um, shelves in the frame. I haven't tightened it up yet. So at this point, this is when I want to make sure it's just nice and flat and level. So if you kind of feel like if you're, um, no, I can't make mine do it. If you're, now it will do it because I just cut the screw out. If you feel like your cart is not um, solid or if it's rocking a little bit or kind of feels like it's rocking. Let's see, I put my screw in here, but not quite. Then you, now you can loosen up your screws and make sure that, you know, it's just level, right? So you want to make sure it's all level at this point. And then you can start tightening up your screws. And again, I would work around a little bit at a time 
so that you keep that square, that frame squared up until you get all eight screws tightened up. Now, one of the things that happens with furniture like this um, is that as you move it around, you may, uh, it may start to kind of loosen up, right, just from use. So at any point, if you kind of feel like your cart isn't sitting level anymore, just go ahead and if you have the apron on, take the apron off, grab your screwdriver, and if you just um, level it out and retighten the screws, you're going to be in great shape. So super easy. So my sister has this saying that she always uses on her husband because he over tightens everything. She's like, honey, don't gorilla grip it, right? So don't gorilla grip it. You can use a screw, regular screwdriver and tighten it up. You can use a drill, which I pulled out, but I actually didn't end up using. You want to get them tight, but you don't want to gorilla grip it. All right, last, last round through here. Now I'm going to put the wheels on. To do that, I'm going to flip it upside down. Now, Karen, who is our, um, I want to make sure I put the wheels with the brakes in the front and the wheels without the brakes in the back. Um, doesn't matter which way you put them. I mean, you don't even have to put them front to back. It's just easier for me to set the brakes if I'm going to use them if they're in the front. It's more likely that's going to be accessible to me. So Karen uh, says that when, you know, she, she does all the QA. So when you're screwing the wheels in, if you hold down the little ring on the inside as you screw it in, she said it's, a little, it's easier to actually screw it in rather than um, to be rotating. You want to be rotating the screw in. Now, it does come with a little wrench, but again, um, it's easier probably to get in with your hand initially and then just use the wrench to tighten it up. I mentioned earlier about putting the screws in because the paint might get, you know, in, uh, uh, in the, you know, that thing that you screw into, um, into the grooves. Um, so, in the, so with the bat, with the wheel ones, that was easy to do with these screws, but a little more difficult with the wheel ones, right? So this one is just a little bit sticky, it feels like. So I'm just going to use the wrench a little bit earlier than I normally would, and then I can just twist that that nut right there and I've just pushed past whatever little paint um, was in there it was kind of blocking it up so if you feel like it's kind of tight to get in there you can't get it twisted in with your fingers you can go ahead and use the wrench to get past whatever little maybe paint blob is in there and then just once you get your the wheels all the way down then you're going to take the wrench Scoop it in there and then just tighten up the wheels. So I've already tightened up the other four. So now I've got, ta-da, my handy dandy paper cart ready to go. And I've got the divider piece. So you'll notice different from the previous version, we've got a lot more holes, which give you a lot more options for where your dividers are going to be placed, depending on what you have in your um, cart. You have two sizes of dividers. Short ones go on the top, uh, or rods, I guess. Long ones go on the bottom. So, and they just sit in there, super simple, nothing fancy. It's just going to give you um, something for things to lean on. So, if you're not, if you haven't loaded it full with your paper storage boxes or your paper handlers, um, then you're going to be able to move these around so that whatever you're trying to keep upright is going to stay upright. So, Leanne, could you, t oh no, I can do it, never mind. I have one right here, oh, okay. And then you're just going to be able to add your paper boxes. And if you're filling up your whole cart, you don't even need the dividers. You don't even need to use them in there. They are just to help keep things straight up and down in the event that your cart isn't full, right? So, or if you're putting something in there like, um, I don't know, like, like these guys. So if you're a junkie for, um, we are 
These are We Are punch boards, right? And I keep them in eight and a half by 11 or the A4 paper handlers because it makes this nice, neat little thing that I can slide those in and out because there's, they have all different, you know, they're all different, like, maybe I shouldn't be doing it backwards um, because they have all these different little whatever. So they're difficult to store. So I just use our eight and a half by 11 paper handlers and I have one for each punch board, so I could line those up across the top as well. And then this would keep them straight up and down if I didn't have them all the way across. So super easy. Oh, you know what I should do really quickly? Well, I have your undivided attention. Should unscrew that so it rolls around. Let me just grab a paper cart apron, and I'll put that on right now as well. Let me just grab it. Okay, the new paper cart apron, super simple to put on. You're just, if you've used our other aprons, they work the same way. I'm going to recommend that you um, hang the handle, the side handles first. And then in the back, there are, a cut, there are some little tabs that go around the bars, which I actually should have put on first because now I'm going to have to slide that past the bar in there. And then you're just going to wrap those around the bar in the back, and that's going to secure it to the back bar. And then in the front, you've just got this large <clears throat> panel just with hook and loop. And now you've got pockets on there for things like rulers and scissors and um, your cutting mats and your paper trimmers and all that kind of stuff. You've got all these nice, little, neat little pockets that you can, so you've really kind of maximized out the space that you're using or, or that you've got with this paper cart. So things like rulers, scissors, trimmers, all the things that you're going to use when you're also using paper are going to fit in the pockets of the apron. So it's just a great accessory for your paper cart. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope we answered all your questions, but super easy. It should probably take you maybe five minutes to put the cart together. Thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to you soon.